So you finally got your very first iPad. You downloaded GoodNote 6 because everyone says it's the best note-taking app out there. And now you're just staring at it like... Overwhelmed with all of the features. No worries, I've been there and today we're going to fix that. Because today we're going to go through all of the GoodNote 6 features together. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to take cute notes like these. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's first download the GoodNote 6 app in the App Store. It's available for both iOS and Android, but this video specifically will be mainly for iOS as I use an iPad. When setting up a new notebook, you can choose your preferred paper templates, such as squared, dotted, or ruled. You can customize the pages by choosing a preferred color. You can name your customizations so you can find them later on. There are also many options for the cover of your notebook. Give your new notebook a name, set the language, and you're ready to go. You can add new pages to the notebook by swiping up like I'm doing here. You can add pages with a different layout after creating the notebook. This is how you delete a page in your notebook. You can change the scrolling direction from vertical to horizontal here. You can undo any action by tapping with two fingers and you can redo any action by tapping with three fingers. The same thing is possible with the arrows on the upper left corner of the screen. In the top left corner, the button gives you access to your notebook's contents. From here, you can rearrange pages as needed. By tapping on Edit, you can delete any of the pages. Here I'm showing how you can import your own covers into the app. Create a group first and give it a name. Then import the covers from your files by selecting the covers and tap Open. Once imported, you can use these as the covers of your notebooks. It's also possible to change the position of the group of covers. This is how you change the cover page of any of your documents. Tap cover and choose your preferred cover. Here I'm decorating the cover with stickers to give it a more personal touch. Finally, give it a title and your new cover page is ready. These campus covers shown here, I actually designed them myself and I made them available for free on my website. You may have downloaded a PDF template for GoodNotes and are now wondering how to import this. Just tap on the plus and import button and select the template in your files and tap open. The template is now ready to use. If you have downloaded a hyperlink template and the buttons seem to not be working, you're probably still in edit mode. Tap this button in the middle to switch to read only mode. Now the hyperlinks are enabled. Just make sure to turn edit mode on again if you want to write on the documents. You can switch between templates using the blue tabs at the top. You can also delete or rearrange the templates uh, like I'm doing here. Now I'll introduce all the tools available in GoodNote 6. First, we have the pen tool. You can customize the pen tool to your liking by adjusting the sliders. There are three types of pens you can choose from the ball pen, fountain pen, and brush pen. In stroke settings, it is possible to add the three presets for the pen thickness.
In pen settings, you can turn on scribble to erase. This allows you to remove any writings just by scribbling over it with your pen. You can also turn on circle to lasso to mimic the lasso tool. By circling the text with your pen, you can select it and drag it to move the position. Another cool new feature is the Maths Assist. Write out any equation and the answer will appear. Turn on writing aids to get autocorrect for your handwriting. Just tap a word and it will adjust to the correct spelling. Let's start looking at the pen color section. You can choose your preferred pen color like this or by using the color picker. A cool hack is to import an image with a color palette and using the color picker to select the corresponding hex code of each color. You can also rearrange the color presets by dragging it around. If you want to remove the presets, just tap on it and the option to remove will appear. In the toolbar, you can have a few preferred color swatches. This is how you can adjust the color presets in your toolbar. To change the color of the tool you're using, pick the preferred color from the color palette. Another cool new feature is the pencil tool. It's perfect for quick scribbles, doodles, or adding fun decorations to your notes. Next, we have the eraser. There are three types of erasers, standard, stroke, and precision. The precision eraser is ideal for removing fine details, while the stroke eraser allows for broader, more general erasing. The highlighter tool lets you highlight words or sentences, perfect for studying or emphasizing key information. I like to highlight and mark words to make studying easier and more effective. This is the sticker tool. It allows you to quickly add stickers and images to your notes. You can organize these stickers by collection for easy access. To add new stickers, just tap the plus button, select stickers from your files or photo album, and give your collection a name. Once you've created a new sticker collection, it's ready to be used in your notebooks. It is also possible to rearrange the stickers in the collection like so. If you have an image or a drawing you made in your notes, you can add this to your stickers too. This is the lasso tool. You can use this tool to select elements in your notes, so you can easily move and rearrange them anywhere on your page. I'll show you two ways on how to duplicate an element using the lasso tool. Just circle the element you want to copy, tap the selection, and options will pop up. You can use the copy paste button or simply use the duplicate button. With the lasso tool, you can also select handwritten text and adjust its layout, making it narrower or wider, and change its alignment to left, center, or right. There's also this new feature that lets you straighten handwritten text. So if you've written something at an angle, you can easily align it horizontally for a cleaner look. To arrange elements forwards or backwards, just select the element and choose Arrange and Send to Back. Sometimes when selecting, it might select unwanted elements. So in the Lossy Tool settings, you can customize which type of elements it selects and exclude other type of elements from your selection. You can choose to enable just one element like text or select all elements at once. Now onto adding images. You can import them from either your photo album or files. 
use the rectangle crop tool to crop the image. After, you can adjust its size and placement as needed. If you want more flexibility, the freehand crop tool lets you customize the shape of the crop shape. Next, we have the tape tool. It can be used for decorations like washi tape or to hide text while studying. After applying the tape, simply tap on it to remove it and reveal the hidden words underneath. I designed these tape patterns myself, and here's how you can import your own custom tapes. Just tap on the plus sign and add the image from files. By clicking on this small arrow, you'll find the option for toolbar customization. It allows you to rearrange, add, or delete any elements from the toolbar. There are several ways to add type text in GoodNotes. You can convert handwritten notes to text or use the keyboard function. To use handwriting to text function, you need to turn on Scribble in your Apple Pencil settings and edit text box. I've installed some of my own handwriting fonts to make the type text look like handwriting. You can find your recently used fonts under Recent. To import custom fonts to GoodNotes, first install and open iPhone app. Next, open your font file. Um, just make sure it's in TTF or OTF format in iPhone. Now, tap Install to add the font. Head over to Settings, then tap Profile Downloaded, and tap Install to confirm. Finally, open GoodNotes, and you'll find your new font ready to use in the Font Selection menu. If the new font doesn't pop up after installing, I recommend restarting your iPad. After selecting the text, you can adjust the letter size like so. Under Paragraph, you can also adjust the line spacing or change the alignment to left, center, or right. Using the ruler tool, you can draw straight lines, shapes, and measure distances on the page. You can also easily draw clean shapes, like rectangles or circles. Just hold the shape, and GoodNotes will automatically adjust them into the correct shape. The laser tool can be used to point at certain parts of your notes during presentations or while reviewing them. The Sticky Notes feature allows you to add sticky notes to your notes. The zoom function allows you to magnify specific areas of your notes. The Ask GoodNotes function lets you quickly retrieve information from your notes. You can ask questions about the content you've written or are reading, and AI will generate answers in seconds. For example, here I'm asking questions about the Japanese kanji I'm studying. Once the answer is generated, you can easily add it to your notes by dragging and releasing it like this. The search function lets you quickly find any words in your notes, whether they're handwritten or typed. The word you're looking for will be highlighted in your notes. You can also scroll between the words. Using the share button in the upper right corner, you can export the notes in your desired format and save it to your files. By dragging pictures from your photo album, you can insert transparent images into your notes. However, as I was making this video, there was a bug that causes the background to appear white instead of transparent, as you can see here. 
to fix this, you can add the transparent image to your sticker collection first. Once it's there, simply drag it from your stickers and it will be inserted into your notes with the transparency still intact. So this is the end of my GoodNotes 6 starters guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!